For most of my life, I've put my hope and trust in what I can do and what I can achieve, but it's always landed me on one of two ends, either in pride or in despair. I have always been the kind of person that has found my worth in the things that I've done. Either I've gone on one extreme to pride, pride in my motherhood, pride in cooking or keeping a good house or whatever, or despair because I can't do all those things. I, I'm not mentally capable of handling sometimes all the things that I need to do. There'd be many days where I would, you know, sit and cry. Like I, I would make sure nobody was here. Like I didn't want to cry in front of anybody. I didn't want any, my, you know, my kids to see me sad or Chris to see me sad. But many, many days I would cry out to the Lord and just be like, I can't, I can't do this anymore. There's not, there's nothing else I can give. I'm, I'm completely hopeless. The Lord was finally telling me, Michelle, here you're almost 50 years old. When are you going to truly rest in me and find your rest in me? Well, you know, as every mother knows, your kids start to grow up. <laughs> so you kind of work yourself out of a job, um, which again, affects your identity. And I think that's where the Lord had gotten me to is that realizing that I cannot continue to place my identity in things like that. I preach to myself every day. I sit and I, I have a new schedule. And literally what I do every day is I write in what I think I'm supposed to do. And then I shove it across the counter to the Lord and I say, this is yours. It is not my schedule. This is your schedule. Do with it what you will. Use me like you will and let my worth and my trust be found in you and you alone. And it was like he was saying, are you going to rest in me? It's here. It's here for the taking. Find your rest in me. And I said, yeah, I'm going to do that. I will choose to rest in you. You know, it's been a real blessing for me to lead women's prayer over these last eight years because I can share their same anxieties and I've been in the same place they've been in. I still struggle with those same anxieties. You know, the, the sin of pride, the sin of putting my worth and my trust in other things is still, sometimes it's just right under the surface. But I know that if I wrap myself in the gospel and wrap myself in the word of God, it will give rest to my soul. And those strivings really do cease when I place my trust in Christ. I found my life has never been sweeter now that I'm fully putting my trust and hope and finding my joy in Christ.